Cameron Jordan with Castonia Tractor Rensselaer Store and today we're going to talk about how to properly adjust the reverser belt on a variable speed feeder house. So first thing you want to do is slow down your reverser speed all the way. Um, usually want to see the speed anywhere from 500 to 530 so your platform cuts at a good speed. Um, first thing you want to do on adjusting it is to come in here and take loose these two 18 millimeter nuts that uh, hold on the uh, the uh, feeder house position sensor. Take that bracket off and let it hang. Once that bracket's out of the way, you want to loosen these three bolts here. Um, sometimes you have to get a wrench up in the backside to hold onto the bolt, but normally the nuts will come loose. And after you loosen up those three bolts, you want to come over here and take loose this jam nut for the adjusting rod. You want to loosen up the jam nut off the bolt. You want to go ahead and run these two together. Get their 30 millimeter wrench. And jam them together. Also, you want to go ahead and take loose this um, idler, drop it down out of the way, uh, 15 16 or 24 millimeter. <clears throat> Once that's done, you want to go ahead and start to, to turn this, but at the same time, you go a couple turns, you want to turn the reverser bell at the same time, otherwise it won't be properly seated into the shivs. The gap right here is the reverser shiv gap and this is what you're adjusting. Um, specification is 8th inch um, but I found that if you go and use a 964 Allen wrench to be able to slide in there that'll get your 500 to 530 speed range. Um, after you get your shiv gap set to the 964 set I use with an Allen wrench um, you want to go ahead and put everything back the way it was. Um, unjam these two nuts Go ahead and jam this one. And then jam it to the back to the bolt head. Make sure they're tight. Go ahead and rotate the reverser belt again since you've moved it. After that you want to take your ratchet wrench, regular wrench, whatever you use, and tighten up these three bolts that you loosened up. Reinstall the feeder house height sensor bracket. After you've tightened all your jam nuts back up, um, you want to go ahead and make a mark at the top side of the reverser belt on this bracket and then measure up one inch and that's where you're going to end up putting this idler. You don't want this idler too high, this is not how you adjust the, the reverser belt. Oh, that is a 15 16 or 24 millimeter. At that point, your reverser belt is adjusted properly. 